What's going on guys? I'm finally back with another video because today is SneakerCon Detroit. So me and my friend Gino are gonna be going up there. This actually will be my first ever official SneakerCon. Like I go to some other sneaker exchanges and things like that. But as far as SneakerCon goes, this is my first time going. So you already know I wanted to bring you guys along for a video. Gino and I are also gonna be buying some shoes for the store. We're not gonna be spending too much money like a lot of these videos on YouTube, but we're hoping to spend around 5,000 or so dollars. So I wanted to bring you guys along for that ride. But before we go pick up Gino, you already know I gotta break down the fit for you but also keep in mind my apartment is a straight mess as I am moving in a couple of weeks so ignore this mess in the background but I got to break down the fit I'm also gonna try to get Gino to kind of break down the fit better because me just filming it by myself it kind of looks bad but you, you guys will get the gist so anyways let's just get right into this here we go we got Vivian Westwood necklace we also got this vintage I, I'm, I'm tripping this bootleg vintage uncle rick's rodman tee straight fire also has the back kit on it as well but like i said hopefully Gio can get a better video for this as far as the jewelry goes i got the bb simon bracelet with my bare knuckles ring and chrome hearts ring then on this hand we also got the other chrome hearts ring working our way down here we also got the bb simon belt this is my new one i just got this pink one is pretty fire again none of this really matches but that's okay we also got these vintage just destroyed that supreme deck we also got these vintage uh car hearts right here and i ended it with the rest in peace off-white nike blazers these things are fire i put the blue lace inside of that one even though to kind of i mean to kind of tie it into the shirt even though it didn't really but you already know we tried and i i never match if you follow me on instagram you will see i almost never match but you know sometimes it works so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this fit oh and i also didn't want to say gino has never been in a video so i'm not sure if he's gonna want to be so if he doesn't maybe he can see behind the camera and film some videos for me because like i've never filmed around him or anything like that he has been on my tiktoks if you follow me on tiktok at chandler sunnen you will see him on there but as far as like youtube video goes he's never been in one not sure if he wants to be in one hopefully he will be but if not you're still gonna see some stuff at this sneaker con so like i said sneaker con detroit we are on our way let's go pick up gino man of course we get this weather at least the rain just stopped but it's literally been raining all morning i'm not even gonna lie to you guys the odds have been stacked against us today it usually takes me like 35 40 minutes to get to gino's house it literally took me like over an hour to get here like and now we're gonna get there like 40 minutes late we already know there's gonna be a line the oh there was also a detour to get here like the road was closed down it the odds are stacked against us, but we got Gino pulling up right now. Let's see what he got on body. Let's see what he got on body. What up, what up, what up? What up, bro? Yeah. What you got on body today? Uh, some light, What bro. you got, what you got? Oh, he threes. got the threes on. It's not focusing, bro. We're going to definitely get a better video. But for those of you that don't know, this is my boy Gino. Uh, we never filmed a video together on my YouTube channel, but if you follow me on TikTok, you will see him on there cutting up my shoes. But yeah, we gotta hurry up and get there because we're about to be like 40 minutes late, so we gotta hurry up and get to the van. We'll, get, we'll give a better outfit breakdown when we get there, and we'll see you guys there. She liked dopamine, controlling me inside of my mind. It's a slow release, and hopefully, I'll make it out alive. On a bench, thumbing through my ends. 27 club, losing all my friends. Sick of doing, but I'm still. I'm just going up, and you just follow trends. Had to get it, had to get it for my lonely. So now I pray to God it don't OD. Love drunk, throwing off for the potion. Making friends, getting paid. I'm in the light, don't What's going on guys? I'm not gonna lie guys, I did not get the best footage in there. It was way more overwhelming than I was anticipating. Me and Gino both, like even we did so many deals and I would forget to tell Gino or I'd forget to film Gino. 
it wasn't working out that great but i will i'm not gonna show you everything we got but so far we got eight was it 17 or 18 pairs of shoes i already forgot nothing crazy just things that move really well for us at the store we got some supreme white air forces i think we got four pairs of those as well as the pandas i don't know you gotta show you guys but if i got one right here i'll show you yeah right here we got a couple pairs of these i don't even know what they're called and then we also got some fuchsias because those all be really good for us at the store so we got a few of those a lot of traffic going now there's no one here before we started filming but yeah that's basically what we got we got 17 pairs i don't know how much money we spent i think so far we spent around what would you say probably like two thousand ish dollars somewhere around so. there somewhere around there yeah but before we head back in there because we had to make a trip to the car i will keep break down my fit now because it's so loud and busy in there i couldn't do it in there so real quick we got the vivian westwood chain i got all my jewelry on which is bb simon chrome hearts bare knuckles more chrome hearts then i got this uh bootleg vintage uncle rick's tee that graphic as well with the vintage car hearts and you already know i had to get the blazers the off-white blazers the what do you call it the hollow seeds or something can we get your fit gino all right let's see let's see what gino got on today we can see him better now what you got what you got all right so i got on the, the plum essentials to you the new new drop relax black essentials pants the and we got on feet i'm gonna need these you know with the Ooh. little little plum yeah that's good and what, what bag we got Supreme what bag we got side bag yeah, I completely forgot to say that I also got the Harley bag. Not, it's not vintage or anything. But yeah, we're gonna go back in. I'm gonna try my best to get as much footage as we can. Like I said, I've been fumbling, but stay tuned and we'll see what else we can get. All right, what's up guys? We just got done with SneakerCon Detroit. We ended up with 27 pairs, which I actually, to be honest, thought we, we did more because we spent a lot of money and I felt like we had more pairs, but still, it's fire. I'm not gonna show you every single one because it's probably stuff you guys seen so much, but I have to show you guys the two personals I got because you don't really see these ones every day. These are absolutely heat. A lot of people make fun of me for this, but I'm trying to collect at least one dunk from every box. So these are actually two boxes I don't have. So in the black and purple box, I ended up with the puffin stuffs i think is what they're called i'll be honest i already forgot the name of these but these are actually my personal size and straight heat i got these for the personal need these for sure and then we got one more personal the rest oh are they trying to get out okay no they're good this one i also don't have a blue box one but here is uh my next dunk again for the personal ended up with these are like the metallic purple something something these are both these pairs are actually from 2008 i believe but these are the high tops those are the low tops straight heat both of them og all with the laces it's insane and the boxes are like in great condition which is kind of wild for like a 15 year old shoe but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for the video uh how would you say that how would you say the event was gino what do you think i think it was fire that's like way better than we expected we've been to tons of sneaker events but neither one of us has ever been to a sneaker con so this was a first for both of us i thought it was fire we basically spent like all the money we came here with i got a lot of personals which i shouldn't have because we got shirts and i got some supreme accessories i didn't have a ton of stuff but if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure you subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching i'm out